Hey everybody, I'm Garrick DeMeyer from Royal Constrictor Designs. I've got some more babies from the 2018 hatching season to show you. It's early December, still hatching babies out. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff hatching yet um, and uh, some pretty cool stuff. So anyway, I decided to do a quick video here and show you. And then I've got a, a, an actual clutch that I can cut open uh, today too. It's got some really cool stuff hopefully in it. Uh, it's a clutch I've really been looking forward to uh, seeing for a while. So. This first clutch is a really small clutch, actually. It's from a pastel coral glow pied to a super pastel het pied. And here you can see these are two super pastel coral glow pieds. And this was a mail maker pastel coral glow pied. And I actually I sexed these last week when they first hatched. I, I waited till they shed before I made the video. This one's a male. I think this one's actually a female. Yeah, this one's a female. So, yeah, out of two of them, got a male and a female. And then here is one that came out of a little, little bitty egg. He's kind of a runt. That's a pastel coral glow hat pipe. He's probably roughly half the weight and size of those two, but he looks healthy and he should do fine. I don't think uh, I don't think he's got any issues whatsoever. He's probably 50 grams, I'd say. These are probably about 75. Uh, these might actually be bigger. These might be closer to 80, and this one might actually be closer to 40. He's pretty small. So yeah, I really I like the pastel uh, mixed in with the coral glow pie. These are the first super pastel coral glow pies that have ever hatched, but really cool. I mean, that stripe down the back is really bright. So I'll probably keep the female and I'll probably put him up for sale, I'm thinking. If anybody's interested in purchasing anything from me or, or at least seeing pictures of all this stuff, um, I do have a lot of animals for sale on my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. And um, I don't have all my snakes up there. I actually have quite a few ball pythons available right now and, and I'm putting them up as fast as I can. The problem is during the hatching season, I'm so busy just dealing with all the babies, trying to get them out of the incubator, get them to shed, get them set up, get them feeding and everything, that I don't have a whole lot of time to, um, to actually you know, take pictures and put them on my website. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously they have to be fed, they have to be healthy in order to sell them. So uh, that's my goal during the hatching season is to just get them all set up, get them organized, get them uh, you know, well taken care of, get some weight on them. But I, I do, uh, keep a price list on my website that just had it's like a just a, a a price list that's got all of my stuff on there even stuff that's not actually for sale individually on my website and then I and during the the non hatching season which doesn't it seems like that's getting smaller and smaller but mostly during the winter and spring when I'm not hatching many babies out that's when I concentrate on getting them all loaded up onto the website so definitely uh, check my website out and check, uh, you know, you can check it fairly often. I try to get new snakes up, especially this time of year. I'll try to get new snakes up every couple of weeks uh, so that you've got more stuff to choose from. If you ever see anything on my website that you're really seriously interested in, let me know. I should be able to get you a picture of it. So uh, I've got some other babies here that I want to show you. Um, I've got a, a, these, both of these clutches are... This one's from a pastel lesser hypo het clown bred to a pastel double het hypo clown, and then I've got one from a from the same pastel lesser hypo het clown to another pastel double het hypo clown. This one, um, I'm only good, I only had two with hypo in it from this clutch, so I'll show you this clutch first. So this is a, just a pastel hypo lesser, and she's. She or he, actually I haven't sexed it, is Possible Hat Clown. And then this is a Pastel Lesser Hypo Clown. The Hypo really does great things with these. These look fantastic when they get older too. Um, hypo, you know, Hypo and Ghost is the same thing. Hypo is the proper term for it. Hypo is short for hypomelanistic, which means lack, or not lack, but reduction in black pigment. So, what would normally be black on the snake is more like a like a purplish gray color, I guess. So they're not they're not a lack of black like amelanistic, what you know people um, call albinos, 
uh, which is a complete lack of black. This is just a reduction in black. So those are the only two hypos that I had in that clutch. But here's a bunch of babies from the other clutch. This was a much more successful clutch. Here's a super pastel hypo lesser possible hat clown. Here's a clown 100% hat hypo. Here's a pastel clown 100% hat hypo. This one's giving me a little attitude right now. And here is a pastel lesser hat hypo possible hat clown. This one, I believe, is a hypo killer clown. I'm not 100% sure. The head's light enough to be a killer clown, but I'm not 100% sure that this is a, a super pastel. It may just be a, a pastel. I'm not sure about that one. And then this is a hypo pastel lesser clown. And this is another one, and this one might be a killer clown as well. So, either way, that's a good looking clutch, I think. Been doing really, really well on the hypo clown stuff over the past couple of years. Actually got a few of them for sale right now, too. Okay, so, I'm going to put those away because I want to get on to opening, or cutting this clutch open. Haven't had a clutch cutting on any of my videos in a while, so I figured this would be a good one. This is a leopard clown to a bamboo hat clown. All right, let's see what we got here. Hopefully you'll be able to see the contents of these eggs well enough. If you can't, I'll definitely be showing them in a video in a couple weeks. Can't tell if that's a clown or not. That may be a bamboo leopard clown right there. I'm not sure though. Let's see what the rest of them look like. Either way, it's a good start. There's a pastel clown. Maybe a pastel leopard clown, I don't know. I don't like to open the eggs up any more than I have to because I, I feel like I don't want to stress the babies out and make them crawl out prematurely and pop, possibly drag their yolks out with them. I'd rather just open them up enough just to look in there and kind of get an idea what it is and then let them come out on their own. There's a leopard clown. Good odds in this clutch so far. Pastel leopard hat clown. That's not a bad thing to have around. That would be a pastel leopard clown. Cool. Believe it or not, that's actually the first one of those I've ever produced. Something. Whoa. What in the heck is that? Oh. I think that's uh, probably a pastel bamboo clown. Must have nicked one of the veins in there. That doesn't hurt the snake, but that's just attached to the yolk. Looks like another leopard clown, I think. Possibly maybe just a regular clown. 
Again, I'll have to wait till all these guys are out of the eggs. Uh, make sure to like my business Facebook page, RoyalConstrictorDesigns.com as well, because I post a lot of this stuff. I just do quick pictures and post a lot of the stuff on that page well before you'll see them in a video. There's a leopard clone. So yeah, I'm not sure if I hit on the leopard um, bamboo clown or not. This would be my best chance right here. I can't tell for sure if that's got clown in it or not. I think it does. Either way, it's a really cool looking snake. So stay tuned to my Facebook page for updated pictures on that. Hopefully I'll have pictures up pretty quickly, possibly even before this video comes up. And um, yeah, I'll do another video on, these, on this clutch once they all shed and I can set them up in their individual containers. So anyway, uh, that's all I have to show for you today. Um, make sure to check out my uh, business page, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and uh, I will come back with another video as soon as I've got something good to show.